these cylinder heads are Blueprint 8002K cylinder heads, aluminum. And that was really the main reason I bought those. I saw a lot of good reviews uh, online, they're aluminum. Figured why not give them a try. I've never actually had a set of aluminum uh, cylinder heads. And these over here are a set of Bowtie Vortec cylinder heads made by GM. And just right off the bat here, I'm gonna tell you, the Vortex, it's a superior casting in a lot of ways. It's a better design. Uh, but that's not to say these blueprint cylinder heads aren't, aren't good either or have their benefits. So a couple things I want to point out uh, is the first thing, the combustion chamber. Uh, you'll see on the Vortex here, there's a raised up quench area by the plugs. And these are both, uh, you know, heart chamber type cylinder or combustion chambers here. But, you know, we don't have that feature here. And, uh, you know, obviously, I, I mean, maybe they could have machined that in here. Uh, but I think you would have ended up with a smaller chamber size. So you needed this for volume. But what I'm getting at here is this quench area helps stuff and mix, um, you know, the air fuel mixture prior to the spark plug firing. And that's a good thing. So you can tell Jim really thought that out. And, uh, you know, that's a, definitely a good feature to have. Uh, the valves, it's a small one, but these are manly valves. Uh, you know, they're shaped to the chamber a little bit better than the blueprints. But, you know, they, these these are not, I don't know, I'm not even sure who manufactures these valves. It's probably like a third party or maybe a Chinese source. They are stainless, but uh, I guess what I'm getting at is these valves are superior too. And then the last thing on the chamber side, the water jacket here, you can see that it wraps all the way around the chambers on the vortex here. Um, now it does wrap around the chambers here too, on the blueprints, but in these areas here, um, you know, they're, they're, you can tell the water jacket is not going through. And I think, you know, in a lot of ways, um, we're relying on uh, the aluminum, the different material properties here to, to aid the cooling. So big picture takeaway, Vortex, uh, you know, combustion chambers, uh, from what I can tell, are superior. Um, now if we move over to the intake ports, on the sides here. Uh, in a lot of regards to just like the combustion chamber, I think the Vortex are better. Uh, this is, you know, it's the tall port, tall intake ports that are common to the Vortex. And you can just tell the casting and the contours here uh, are for velocity, where the blueprints, when you stick your fingers in here, kind of feel around, you know, this is more of a volume play. There, there's less maybe finesse going into the shape of the combustion, in the intake port and more just the volume. Now I will say these are bigger. These are 195 runners. These are 185, so they're slightly bigger. And at high RPM, I'm sure these flow just fine. So, but you can just tell again, when you tear these things down and look close, that at low RPM, um, I'm sorry, low RPM, uh, you know, light throttle response, these things are gonna flow really, really well. Um, it's just, it's, it's, you know, you read about it, but when you actually see it and see these things up close, it, it makes sense and you understand it. I like the water jacket too. Uh, the jacket ports are definitely bigger on the iron vortex than on the blueprint. Uh, but again, these are aluminum. Maybe you don't need that extra water flow. Um, on the top side, the springs are. Uh, the only thing I, want, I noticed different here is the deck here uh, below uh, the springs here is higher. And I'm sure that's to help with casting than what we see in the vortex. Now, I don't think one's better than the other. I just think on the blueprint, they probably raised this up higher for strength and to help cast in the water jacket. Probably nothing more than that. Uh, both of these support guide plates, uh, but really there's not a whole lot to see here on the on the top side. Both are thread-in studs. The blueprints do come with the guide plates. Um, and then if we move over to the exhaust side, kind of already touched on it, but that exhaust port on the blueprint is higher. It's a half inch higher. And again, I think I don't think that was done for flow. It's probably more for a universality and to help with the casting. So anyways, that's my quick uh, two minute take on the blueprint cylinder heads, just comparing to a, you know, an iron performance head. And depending on what you're building, you know, I think they're both great cylinder heads. They both have their strengths. Um, but if I was gonna build something for, for reliability and just really good street performance, I'd probably go towards the Vortec. Um, you know, it's it just seems uh, like the flow characteristics in the chamber are going to have some benefits you're not going to see on the blueprint head. And again, I'm going to say it again, this is still a good cylinder head. There's nothing wrong with this cylinder head. Uh, it's aluminum. It's well designed. It's a good value play. Um, I'm just trying to point out the, the positive 
uh, differences you see with the Vortex. All right, well, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.